Hey guys, we're back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing a story time, so let's get into it. I was going out with this guy uh, about three years ago. Yeah. And we only went out for a year. Because I can only take that much until enough was enough. And, um, I met him through, like, a date and I, or whatever. And at first, I didn't pay no mind to him. Like, uh, he kept hitting me up, and I just, like, never read his stuff. I'm just like, uh... I don't want nothing to do with him. And then one day I was just reading stuff, and basically, it it's what every girl's want to hear. Like, oh, you're so beautiful. You should let me whine and dine you. All, 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 all that talk. And then, um, we finally met, and we went back to his place because he was like, oh, let me cook for you. So. Of course, I'm gonna let you cook for me, like. <clears throat> but I will say this: he was a really good cook. Like, that's like the only good thing was his cooking. Um, and he was older than me, much older. So I thought him being older would be. Like, he's more mature, he, he knows how to handle a relationship, you know, he knows what he wants in life, you know, all, all this. Um, and then, when did it start getting suspected? Suspect. Um, I had Instagram, well, I still have Instagram. And he wanted to know what was the hype about. So I showed him. Like, he made his own account. But little did he know, he didn't know all the little t tricks and stuff. Like, I didn't teach him all that. Because, I, I didn't feel that I needed to teach him the tricks. Like, he didn't know that, um... I can, from my account, I can see who he's following, um, if he writes on a picture, if he likes a picture. He didn't know I could see all that. And mind you, when it comes to certain things, I'm very smart. Um, especially if I feel something is off. Um, but Instagram was just the beginning of it. I think. Oh, and my, let me, on top of that, he had two phones, two, not one, two phones, um, I never really understood why he needed two phones, and if you haven't guessed already, both of them had, a uh, security code, if I say it right, lock, a lock on it. Oh, and mind you, when I was with him, my phone, I didn't need a lock. I didn't, like, you, you wanna, you wanna go do it here, like, cause when I was with him, I was loyal, I was loyal as hell, like, I didn't, I didn't, there's no need to be unfaithful, like, if I like you, I like you, and only you. Um, and then, um, Sorry, I'm going all over the place. I'm just doing, like, little bits and pieces. So, when I would go over to his place, um, mind you, um, he was a veteran. Um, blah, 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 I didn't know that. This, this comes in, just remember I said he's a veteran. Um, and every time I would go over to his place, um, I'm the type of person that if I know I'm gonna like eat your food or drink your juice or whatever, 
I'm gonna make sure that I put back what I eat or drink because me, knowing myself, I drink a lot. I like to stay hydrated. I have AF, like, I don't know, but I drink a lot, like, a lot of juice, water, Kool-Aid. At the time, I was drinking soda, but, yeah, that's the side of the point. I was drinking so much soda. That was so bad for me. Anyways, let's, let's not get on that topic. And then, he had this friend friend that would call him this was the first red flag well probably the second because he has two phones for him. what reasons who knows and she would call him every day anytime and you're probably like okay that's just a friend but the thing is when she would call I had to be quiet like, she couldn't know I was there. And mind you, this is a girl that, before he met me, <clears throat> they would talk about going out. Like, and right there, off the bat, I don't know, why, why would you talk, why would you need to talk with someone like that? Like, what? For what reason? Anywho's that right there was that should have been my key to leave. That should have that's just that's just should have. Like I see it now, you know. Um and then um Um, I thought when we started going out. Oh, it was after Halloween. And mind you, okay. And this is Christmas. I'm just skipping to parts that I remember that I got fucked up with it. It was Christmas, right? Before Christmas. You know, you go shopping. Like, oh, I have a boyfriend. I'm a, I'm a go spoil him. <sighs> Worst mistake ever. Worse. Worse. Um, oh, let me just put this in. Mind you, I don't expect anything. But if you tell me that you're gonna get me something, be up on your word. So, um, I bought him like I'm so stupid. I bought him like freaking a two hundred, a hundred. I don't even know how much. Uh, a Kelvin Klein set. I bought him like a chess, uh, a glass chess set. Um, I got him two cats, kittens per se, because he that's what he wanted. Um, one of them we got for free, and then one of them I had to pay for. But you wanted it, babe. I got it for you, like. That's how quick I worked. Um, what else did I get? Um, I don't remember, but basically, like, if you rounded everything up, I spent like $200. Uh, I spent like $200. And at this time, I still do at this time. Like, I like taking pictures. Like, I like taking pictures of, like, sunsets and like um I forgot what it's called like just pretty pretty settings there you go and I take pictures of myself take pictures of my sister my friend my cousin you know I just like taking pictures and he was like oh you know since you like taking pictures so much I'm gonna I'm get you a camera a professional camera I'm like word you don't have to do that and then he was like, no, I want to do it. I'm like, okay, cool. And, um, Christmas came around. He came over. No, he didn't come over for Christmas. He went by his brothers, right? And then he came over for New Year's, right? And then, um, 
What you call me? That was like the first New Year's I went to Manhattan. It was it was such a mess. Like we were supposed to see the ball drop and the ball didn't drop because the movie was standing out in the cold for like fifty four or five hours. Like it was ridiculous. But that's beside the point. So then after New Year's we went back to his place like the day later. This camera he said was at his house. Mind you. So my I and to be honest, um he, he he didn't have to get me anything. To be honest, like he could have been like, you know, I don't have the money right now, like, um, you know, any he could have came up with any excuse, but he said the camera was at his house, so okay, whatever. Uh, we went back to his house, um. The game wasn't there. He said it was still being shipped. I'm like, okay. Okay, cool. No, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Just let me know when it gets here. Um, and then, I think that's when I realized he had passcodes on his phone. Right? So, that's when I started, I put passcode on my phone. But, the thing about my old phone was, you need a face recon recognition. So, even if he tried to get my password, he couldn't get in because you need to be in my face. Um, and then that night, I guess I must have went to sleep early or something. And then I woke up, right? Oh, mind you. Um, when somebody goes to my phone, that's not me. A, a picture was be a picture will be taken of you, and will be sent to my email. So if you try to do some slick shit, you ain't gonna do it because I'm gonna get that email. So I woke up, and on my phone, you know how it says, um, no, I don't think it says error. Or, um, so I go to my phone, face recognition, and then I say I got email from my phone company. So I'm like, what? What's this? That's when I realized that I get emails, but that's beside the point. Um, and I went, I'm gonna do it, and it it wasn't me. It wasn't even my fault. <laughs> Clearly, it wasn't me. And I brought it to his attention. Like, did you really try to go through my phone last night? And he had the audacity to say, oh, I probably was just looking at the time. No. No. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. My phone don't take pictures. Unless you trying to get into my phone. And then he was like, oh, what's the big deal about it? I'm like, the big deal about it. Uh, the big deal about it is the fact you're trying to go into my phone while I'm sleeping. Like, do you see me going through your phone? No. Oh, let me tell you another thing. He went to the store one day and I didn't go with him, right? I was watching a movie or whatever. Oh, oh my god, is this another thing? I'll get into that in a second. Um, and he was like, oh, um, I'm leaving my other phone home, it's called this phone. And to be honest, if I, if I don't, if I, hmm, I don't remember. I think I only had one phone number. I could be wrong, but I think I only have one phone number and he has two phones. So something's not adding up. But that's I let I let that go, like whatever. Um and then he walked out and then he walked back into the room and he was like, Oh, just so you know, 
this should have been another threat. Uh, another red flag. Oh, if you try to go through the other phone, um, my phone will be alert. What a coincidence. How about that? I get my phone get alert. Now his phone gets alert. Okay. I'm like, I look at him like, okay. Like, I was just trying to go through your phone anyway, so. the. F Anywho's. And then, um, what's if, oh, let me tell you this, okay, watching a movie made me realize, so, he was religious, nothing's wrong with that, Not, nothing's wrong with that, you believe what you believe, I believe what I believe, that's what I told him, your beliefs may not be my, my beliefs, so, I'm not gonna put anything on you, push anything on you, so don't force anything upon me. And you're probably thinking, okay, but why is this in the two story? Because whenever I was around, he would watch, he would watch, he would watch religious movies constantly. Um, he would talk about his religious all the time, and then he would be like, oh. You can't play your, um, you, you can't play your music you like here because it's not of God. Um, so I took, respectfully, I did not play my music around him because he didn't like my, now or day music, so I respected him, but don't. You dare tell me what I can listen to in my house. Like, you got your rules, I got my rules. So, don't, don't. And then, one day I was here in my house, um, and I was watching paranormal, paranormal activity, and I told him that. The worst mistake I should have done. He was like, why are you watching that devil movie? I'm like, devil? Where's the devil? I don't see a devil in here. And then he was like, you watching that will bring bad um things into your, your fold, something like that. I'm just like, okay. I didn't ask for your opinion of what I was watching. You asked me what I was doing. And I should I should have just been out watching a movie, but I didn't. <laughs> and then, um, oh, let me go to Instagram. I didn't tell you about Instagram. It's been a few days. We made an account. He made an account. And I saw that he was following people. At first, he was only following like. 20, 30 people, and my cur my curiosity got the best of me, I'm like, let me go see who he's following, this was one day, I was home, I was here, um, and I'm like, oh, okay, he might know these people he's following, or not, who knows, um, and then, I see he's following a bunch of naked pages. So I'm like, okay. Um, um, in my head, I'm like, why does he need to follow those? And then the curiosity got the best of me again. Let me see if he comments. Let me see if he comments on these people's pages. Oh, did I find shit? I screenshotted um the worst ones you could say. Um, basically, he was commenting under an underage girl for starters. 
clearly her profile says she's 14. One. Two, he was commenting stuff I don't even think I could say on here. Like, he was like, oh, you should come over so I can fill in the blank. <laughs> um, and then he commented on people's naked pictures, like, um, this one girl, she was like, he, he was like, oh, that looks so good, let me taste it, like, what, are you serious, I'm like, he did not, I didn't go to him, I screenshot it, mm-mm, because -mm, I know what was about to happen, mm-mm, I know what was about to happen, he's gonna go back on those pages and delete them, so, get my evidence real quick. And then, um, what you call it? And then I saw that he commented on like real people's pages, even though they weren't real people's pages, but they were like really real people because the one he commented on was just like naked people. Anyways, I think you get my point. Um, and what you call it? He would, he would, he would write on their page, oh, good morning, beautiful, how you doing, beautiful, you probably like, okay, he wasn't even doing that to me, like, you could write on these girls' pictures, but, what? And when I brought that issue, I brought that issue to his attention. Him writing on um, people's pictures like, oh, hey, beautiful, and all that. I'm like, why are you flirting with them? Oh, I'm not flirting with them. And I pinpoint what he was saying. Oh, that's just how I talk. That's how you talk? Okay, so I can talk like that too, right? And he's like, um, you have guys all over your pictures. I'm like, I, I went to my Instagram. I'm like, show me where it says, because he put this on the, um, his friend's picture. Um, let, let me take you out. I'm like, where do you see guys disrespecting me? Where? Um, they call me beautiful, gorgeous, like, stuff I want to hear, like, and he was like, oh, guys shouldn't be writing that on your picture. I'm like, why you don't do it? Someone else got to. Um, and then, that caused a fight. That caused a fight. Um, oh, let me go back to the news, right? So, I called you one day, right? <laughs> And I was like, oh, babe, I got a situation and I don't know how to handle it, right? So, I, I made up two people, right? And I just put my situation in their names, right? Um, and he was, and then I told him, like, yeah, I don't know, like, what I should tell her to do. And then he gave me the best advice. He was like, Oh, she should just be honest with him. And, like, oh, and then he was like, oh, she should just leave him. Like, that's not a good boyfriend. And I'm, I put him on mute. Yo, I was bawling. I was dying laughing. <sighs> so, but I gotta say, calm. But then I started getting technical, right? And he kind of got started to get the hint. And he was like, what is this all about? And then, I don't know, I sent him the screenshots. Why don't you tell me what this is about? Right? And then, mm, he got caught. He got caught, and he got mad. And he was like, what gets me pissed? Oh, 
I'm just writing stuff. It's not like I'm going to go out and do it. What? Where is that all right? Um, we, that was the first, second, third fight. I, I forgot how many fights we already had. Um, but, that, that was another red flag. I should have been dipped. And another thing he did in person was, um, we would walk to the store and he wouldn't, he wouldn't stand by me. This got me pissed. He wouldn't walk with me. When people asked if I was his girlfriend, he'll be like, no. But I didn't catch that at first. Because they were talking Spanish and I don't your girl don't talk in Spanish. But one day he wasn't walking with me. He was walking like ten feet ahead of me. And a guy approached me. <laughs> I remember I will always remember this. And he was like and I was like, yo, what's good, man? You beautiful, la, la, la. Let me get your number. He was quick to turn his, he was quick to turn his neck real quick. Like, and then he walked back by me. He's like, babe, what you doing? And then the guy just looked at him like, you with him? And yo, that, it was hilarious because that day he, he stood by me. Especially when he seen this guy. He stood by me, yo. It was hilarious. Like, but you don't understand by me, though, right? It's cool. And then I called him one time because a girl said it in English, oh, is that your daughter? Like, am I, like, yeah, I think you got it. I'm like, no, I'm his girlfriend. And she was just like, oh, okay. Like, like you were surprised because of the age difference? Like, Nowadays, it don't matter. Like, age shouldn't be an issue. Um, okay, let's jump to another fight. A new fight with this guy. Um, and... I was home. And this was a big fight, too. Supposedly, his sister got his phone. Oh, let me check backtrack to the night before that happened. I um I told him some deep shit about me, it's really personal, hit home type shit, right? And I'm like, you know, blah blah blah, right? And the next day, his sister, mind you, he never lets anyone touches his phone, which I knew this was a lie from the get go. I knew it was a lie. I knew how he texted. So, I knew. I knew. So, you probably just like, Sh shut up, girl, and just tell the story. Um, um, basically, he used what I said last night to him against me. He was, he was, um, she, she was saying... That oh my brother can do but better than you. He can I don't know why he's with you. Like you so ugly, you so fat. I don't know why he's with you. He could do so much better. And then he she threw in um my trigger that gets me that gets me really mad. I'm like boy really okay. That's how you gonna play. Yo, I was done. Done, D-O-N-E. But of course I forgave him and we went back out. Right. Stupid, stupid me. But definitely I learned my lesson. Um, my next situation. Um. Um. I'll adjust that. And then, um, oh, another thing, excuse me, 
this was when it was kind of coming to kind of coming to the end kind of oh and by the way this is like march april may june one of those months and my gift my camera was still being delivered i realized by then i wasn't getting no gift um Oh, I forgot what I was still gonna say. Um, do, do, do. Oh, okay. I know what I was gonna say. And then one, like one of these fights we had. Oh, petty, 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 red flag and fights. He would throw in my face. Basically, who was I? Oh, you only with me for sex. You only with me for my food. You only with me because I got a roof over my head by myself. A place to stay and that's your escape. When he said that, that, that irked me so bad. That really, like, that's how low you think of me. And I'm like, whoa, you want to get technical here? First of all, if I wanted sex, if I just wanted sex, I could have better. So, don't you dare ever say, I just want you for sex. Because that's a damn lie. Two, your food, you cook good. Congratulations. But I was cooking before you, so I know how to feed myself. And the three, you have a place to stay. Okay? I have a place to stay, too. Oh, because I live with my mom? Don't mean I don't have a place to stay. You want to do that shit in my face. And then he was like, Oh, I supply everything you need, la la la. Now, this is where I told you he was a veteran. First of all, he gets, um, government pays for his apartment. He gets food stamps. Yeah, that's basically it that I know of. So, when he tried to get technical with me, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm that down. I'm like, because, first of all, technically... That's not your apartment that you pay for. The government pays for you to stay here. Second, the government pays for the food in your refrigerator. So, don't you dare say that I eat you out your house. Because, every time I come over, I have 20 to to $100 on me to replace that food. So, if you, if you claim that... Um, you do everything for me. Let's really put your money in check. And let's see the calculation. Two dollars. You bought me a rose. That's all you did for me. You never took me on a date. You never surprised me with flowers. You never tried to be romantic. So, when you say you do shit for me, don't. Don't. Don't you dare say that. Because if we calculate all the money I brought over, I'll make you look like a fool. So, don't you dare say that you support me. That that got me so mad. Like, like really? You think I'm like that? that that's a shame. Um, and then Christmas came around again, so that we've been together for a year. We was together for a year, but I knew after Christmas I was leaving. I was leaving. It's just a matter of the time. What would take me off to the point when I said I had it? But I got to that point. But let me tell you about Christmas. When Christmas came around again. And then my mom was like, oh, what what you doing for him? I'm only spending $20 on him. 
And he, she's like, really? I'm like, yep, you're not spending it on either. Nope, nope, we're not doing this shit again. We're not going to get played twice in a row. So, my ass did not go, my ass did not go over $20. And surprisingly, I got a lot of shit for the $20. Like, I had, I got an eraser for him because that's what he needed. And supposedly it was $10, but since it was missing a piece, they gave it to me for 5 So, bam, $5. And then he needed a new coffee maker, so I bought that for him. And it was only, um, like $10. So, bam, that's it. And I told my mom to put, um, her name and my sister's name on the coffee thing. That's it. That's it. That's all we do. Nope. Nope. I'm done. Nope. Let's see what he gets us this round. Um. So, let me tell you what he got. He got my mom a rice cooker. Um. Which, I don't understand. Because. My mom barely, don't really use that. Because she knows how to make rice. Without a rice cooker. Um. He got my sister some socks and candies. And then he got me a perfume. Okay. He claims it was fifty dollars. No, it wasn't not no fifty dollars. You know when you go I don't know if they have it where you live, but when you go to like the mall and they have those stands outside and they sell them for five dollars yeah yeah that's right he did that to me he claimed it was he he added too many zeros at the end because it was only five dollars because i saw it the next time i went to the mall i'm like oh look at this doesn't this look fifty dollars for it? and the guy was like no 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 it's only five dollars i'm like hmm and me and my mom just laughed I was done. I never used it. I threw that shit out because my, like, I'm grateful. I said thank you, but I do not wear cheap perfume. No. And the funny thing is, he, he asked me what I wanted. And I'm like, you don't have to spin off. I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works. I love me some lotion and perfume. Or go to Victoria's Secrets, even though that's kind of expensive. So you can just stick with Bath and Body Works. Um, that's kind of expensive. That time he said when it was expensive, I went and I got I got a great deal. So, <laughs> but he claimed it was too expensive, but he got me a fifty dollar perfume. I was done. I was done. Um, and then let's move on. New Year's came around again. Basically, we had a party. Mad people were here. We had like we, the beer pong, but we put liquor in it instead because I don't drink beer. And then, um, th that day was it. That was it. That was done. Because we were playing beer pong, and he was just sitting on the couch, not doing nothing, not trying to engage in anything. And he was just watching. Creepily watching. Um. And then, you know, you, you be your palm. You know. You, you don't always get it on the table. So, there was balls all over. So, we was collecting. Well, her and her. My sister and her friend was collecting them, right? And I'm just watching him. For some reason, I'm just watching him. And then... Um, he was like, oh, my sister, <laughs> like, gonna, oh, I think she was on my bed. So, um, he was like, oh, Jessica, um, there's this boy over here. And right when, when I heard him call my sister's name, my eyes was like, back, right, back on him. Um, and, um, I watched I watched this shit happen. She bent down, and um, all you see is him go like this, and try 
to look down on her shirt. That's it. That's a wrap. You do not disrespect me. Disrespect my sister in this house. No. No. I was done. Over. Get the fuck out. Um, that's how we end this shit. Mind you, that that's not where it ends though. Six months later, he got he tries to get in contact with me, right? So I go over to his place. We talking out. We talking, talking, and I find out. Mind you, I gave him two casts the first year. Three months we were dating. He had to give one of them away. Um, the mama cat had a baby. Um, they were still there. Um, we went to the store one day to, to get a little things, but I had money on me. I did not waste my money. I don't have no money, sorry. Dubbed that shit real quick. Um, and we were coming back, and I heard a cat cry, and I knew. I knew it was Teddy. I knew, I knew his cry, and I and I just looked. I looked into the alley and I saw him, and I called him like that. Have a, like certain <laughs> cat noise for him to come over, right? And he jumped right over. He jumped right over the gate. He was eating fucking garbage, and I'm like, and I told him, I'm like, yo, grab him. He's like, oh, I need to go get gloves. Go you better go fucking put those bags down and grab your cat. Because I'll be damned if you let my cat. Um, Teddy's not going to scratch you. He, he knows who you are. That's why he came over. He knows who you are. And, of course, he grabs him. Um, we took him upstairs. We gave him a bath. And we had to get the other cats acquainted to him again. And they got acquainted. Um, come to find out a few months later, like that day, I was so mad. I was so mad. I wanted this girl, I wanted this lady's address. I was going to go beat her up. Like, no, you do not, you do not treat my cat like that. But then again, I don't even know if... He really gave him away. How do I know she? he didn't just throw him outside? And that just made me more mad. So, um, that day I left, I went home, never talked to him again. A few months later, I see him again. Um, I go to his place, and you know what I find out? Not only is Teddy missing, Junior, the baby, is missing, and the mother is missing. He gave them away. And he had, like, these big ass fish tanks. Um, I'm like, why'd you give them away? He's like, oh, I couldn't afford to feed them. But you have 200 to a thousand dollars worth of tanks in this house, but you couldn't feed them. If you couldn't feed them, I got so mad. You should have texted me. You should have called me. I would gladly send you money to feed these cats. I would gladly bring cat food over to feed these cats. And I'm like, you sure you give them to a person that will treat them right? And then he's like, yeah, I give them to my brother's friend. But that day... I was so mad. I was so mad. Because I would have took them with me. But I have cats myself. And they would not get along. If I didn't have my cats. I would have took them in a heartbeat. And they will still be with me. And then I can show you them. But I don't. So. Yeah. That was. You no. Know, First, you disrespect me by look, trying to look down my sister's shirt. And that day, I had to pull my sister to the side and tell the sh if she could please change her shirt because we got disrespectful people in the house. 
And she, and she, she changed, of course, because then she just was creeped out. Like, what the? No. But, yeah. That was my story time. It's, oh my god, it's so long. But I hope you watch it. <laughs> Thumbs it up if you like my story time. Comment down below if you want to see any other videos. And sorry I haven't been posting. I just, I was sick. And I'm better, so thumbs it up. If you want more story times or whatever you want, you can comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Turn your notification on so you can get my video. Bye.